What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're gonna continue our elephant gun series. But before I go any further, I wanna say we have youth clothing now. Yes, you've been asking for youth sizes for a long time. So if you wanna check those out, there's a link in the description down below that will take you to KentuckyBallistics.com. Now for today's video, we're gonna shoot some clear ballistic gel. You've requested it, so we're gonna do it. Let's go get set up and get started. Oh, this stuff is heavy. Woo, be strong, little table. <laughs> okay, so the fine folks over at clearballistics.com sent this over to us. This is 10% clear ballistic gel. This is the FBI block, I believe. It's 16 inches long, and we got three of these things. So, I'm going to line them all up, and we're going to see how much of this it takes to stop the elephant gun. While I get this set up, I want to say thank you to Big Daddy Unlimited for sponsoring today's video. If you're a firearms enthusiast like me, you want good deals, but you don't have time to look for them, you want to check out Big Daddy Unlimited. They do all the work for you. You get all the best deals in one spot, and all you have to do is pay for a simple membership. It's pretty cool stuff, and I think it's worth checking out. Again, a big thank you to Big Daddy Unlimited for sponsoring today's video. I have to say, the fine folks over at Clear Ballistics really outdid themselves today. I mean, look at how clear this block is. That is looking good. All right, we've got three different types of ammunition today. They are all 458 lot, but we have three different types. So you've seen this one a lot. This is the Hornady DGX 500 grain 458 lot. This is a bonded lead round with a very thick jacket. Then you have this guy. You have seen this one before as well. This is the 500 grain Nosler Brass Solid. This thing, I expect it to just zip right through that gel. And then we have a new one today. This is made by Federal, and I'm sure I'm gonna be saying this wrong, and if I am, correct me in the comment section, but I believe it's a 500 grain Woodley Hydro Solid. This is a brass solid, and it looks like it has some sort of protective tip on the end. Really curious to see what this one does. So. Got the gel set up, let's go get the elephant gun and get started. I know we should probably do this one last, but I want to start out with this one, the Nosler 500 grain brass solid. This is probably going to zip right through all that gel, but I'm hoping that it slows it down enough that we can recover the round maybe out of the berm. Ugh. I don't think we caught that. Uh, nope. Man, you know what? I think I have a used block of ballistic gel in the back of the truck. Let's set that up too. This brass solid is no joke. Okay, we now have 64 inches of ballistic gel. If this does not stop, the 500 grain brass solid 458 lot elephant round, I don't know what will. Ugh. This thing kicks so hard. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. We're not gonna catch it, ever. So let me show you the damage. <laughs> so look at that wound channel. 64 inches of ballistic gel. I just can't believe this. What I really can't believe is that it continued straight for 64 inches. Most of the time something will shoot out the side of the block. It just loses control. But that thing just kept plowing through all that absolutely impressive so anyways here's where we hit uh the second time and you can see that wound channel just keeps going and going and then you see it goes into this third block and then here's the fourth block and it came out right here right there is where it came out and i don't know where it is I really was hoping we could catch it because that'd be a really cool round to hang on to. All right, 
Well, next we're gonna use the Federal 500 grain Woodley Hydro Solid. This is also a brass round, so I wonder how much it's gonna go through. I'm really curious to see if it outperforms the 500 grain Nosler brass solid. I'm doubtful though. Check it out. Well, again, we had a lot of penetration. The Federal Brass Round started right here and it kept going and going and going and going and going until finally it shot out the bottom here. See, it kind of goes down and oh, right there. Yes, it goes all the way down. And it started to dip low, and then it came out right here, hit the table, and then it hit the railroad tie. And I figured I could probably find it, but I have been looking and looking and looking, and I cannot find it. Upon further inspection, it looks like it actually went into the railroad tie and shot through there. Okay, it's time we finally catch one of these rounds, and I know for a fact that we're gonna catch this round because this is a lead round. It's bonded, but it's lead. It has a really thick jacket, but it's gonna expand. It's gonna lose energy and we're gonna catch it in that gel. I'm just wondering how much gel it's gonna take to stop it. This is the Hornady DGX 500 grain 458 lot. Golly! I can see that wound channel from here. That's pretty big. Wow. So it looks like the round went through about 41 inches of ballistic gel before finally stopping and delivered a heck of a lot of energy to these gel blocks. Let's dig that thing out of there. to do with one hand. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> so we finally managed to catch one. The Hornady DGX delivered a ton of energy to that ballistic gel. Penetrated 41 inches. We have really good expansion and it doesn't look like the round broke up at all. You know, I joked around before about how this is my new favorite rifle, but after today's video, I can say this is my new favorite rifle. I have never seen a round go through 64 inches of ballistic gel in a straight line without deviating out the sides and then still have enough gas in its tank after going through 64 inches of gel to keep on going. Really impressive. I'm gonna keep this Elephant Rifle series going. I've got a few things planned on my own, but I still wanna know what else you wanna see me shoot with the Elephant Rifle. Leave your answers in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video as much as I did, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And make sure you check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, Kentucky Ballistics. Com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.